Hello and welcome to Inastava. This is English language lesson for the third grade of high school. Today's topic is Games Day. My name is Reykjan Anhanovic Tadian and today I'll be your teacher. In today's lesson, you're going to describe two games in an informal email. Before we start, Please prepare your notebooks, a pen or a pencil, internet access and a QR code reader. Then the topic of today's lesson is about games. We'll start this lesson with a fun activity where you need to guess the names of these games. So take a close look at these images and try to figure out the name of the game. The first one is Backgammon, then Chess, Charades, Ludo, Scategories, Pictionary, Dominoes, Mahjong, Checkers, and the last one, Scrabble. I'm pretty sure you have already played many of these games. But did you know there is a day when we celebrate games and we are encouraged to play them and organize, for example, game night? Do you know anything about that day. Please pause the video and write down what you know. When is it celebrated? Where does that tradition come from? How long has this annual celebration been held? And in what ways can we mark that special day? So pause this video and write down your idea. And now, please read this text about Games Day and check your ideas. Or, if you didn't know, find the information in the text. The link is bit.ly Games Day T and there is also the code you can scan. Pause this lesson, read the text and find the information. And here are the answers. It is celebrated on the 20th of December each year. It originates from Great Britain and it has been marked since 1975. What can you do to celebrate it? You can play different games with your friends at home and you can prepare food while playing. There are some words in the text that might be new to you. And if you follow this link, bit.ly games v, you can find an activity where you match these words and phrases with their meanings. So please pause this video now, follow the link and match them. And of course, since this is about games, there is a game to play, and this game includes the same vocabulary. It is Hangman, and you can find it when you type in the link bit.ly games g or scan the code. So please pause the lesson again and play this Hangman game. And now I'd like you to read the same text again. So pause the video, read the text and while reading try to find out if the following sentences you see on the screen are true, false or it isn't mentioned in the text. Afterwards we'll check your answers together. The first sentence says Games Day first started in Birmingham, UK. It is false. You can take part online from anywhere in the world. 
also falls. Beginning of Games Day celebration was not planned. This one is true. It helped to connect game lovers from the whole country. It's true. Games Day was started by gamers. It's false. When planning a game night, you should choose the one game everybody loves. It's false. And everybody should bring their own favorite fast food. It doesn't say. It's not mentioned. And now I'd like you to plan your game night to celebrate that day. These are the areas you should cover when planning your special night. Think about who you are going to invite, how many people, and what these people are like. Are they your friends or your family, maybe your neighbors? Next, choose the games you are going to play. Plan also to include games that everybody would like to play or different games that would suit different personalities. How are you going to decide which games to organize? Then decide when you are going to have that gathering and where is it going to take place. What are you going to do about food and drinks? Are you going to order pizza and prepare snacks? Or arrange with your guests to bring something themselves? Are you going to give out prizes for the winners? What are those prizes going to be? And how are you going to organize that? You can write your plan as notes to help you prepare. After all that hard work with planning, are you up for some brain training? There are some riddles I'd like you to try to solve. The first one is, Ben walked into a hardware store and asked the price of some items. The salesman said, one costs one dollar, eight costs one dollar, seventeen costs two dollars, one hundred four costs three dollars, and one thousand seventy two costs four dollars. What was Ben buying? Do you know the answer? Think about it. Ben was buying home address numbers and they cost one dollar per digit. And this is the second riddle. If you drop me, I'm sure to crack. Give me a smile and I'll always smile back. What am I? What do you think? It is a mirror. And this is the last one. A pregnant lady named her children Dominique, Regis, Michelle, Juan, Sophie, and Lara. What will she name her next child? Is it going to be Jessica, Katie, Abby, or Tilly? What do you think? It's going to be Tilly, because she seems to follow the scale Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, and then there is T, as in Tilly. I hope you have enjoyed these riddles, and here is the link to some more you can solve on your own, just for fun, or you can share them with your friends or use during a game night. The link is bit.ly riddles ej and there, there is also the code you can scan. And now I'd like you to create two games on your own. The first one is Jeopardy. When you type in this link jeopardylabs.com you'll find a template and the steps to follow to make this fun game.
you can choose categories and questions, and when you finish, you can send a game to your friends and challenge them. You can also play together in teams or in class. Please make the questions gradually more difficult from 200 to 1000 or from 100 to 500, but try not to make them too difficult so that nobody knows the answer. And the other game I'd like you to create is a simple crossword, but using the vocabulary from today's lesson. Please pause the video and type in the link crosswordlabs.com and follow the steps to make your own crossword and then share it with your classmates or friends. This is the last activity for today. Your friend Sophie from the UK is planning to organize a game night but would like to introduce some new games and she asks you for help. Please suggest two of your favorite games and describe them. Write her a 200 words long email and mention what kind of games do people mostly play in Croatia. What are your two favorite games to play? When, how often and with who do you usually play these games? How many people can play them? Describe the rules of these games. How long does a round take? What does Sophie need to play these games? And what kind of people are they best suited for? Don't forget that this should be an informal email since she is your friend. This means that you can use contractions and informal language and apply all the rules for writing informal emails. And this is your checklist. Please make sure you have included answers to all questions, you have used varied vocabulary to describe the two games, you have checked your spelling and grammar, it is in the form of an informal email, and that you have written at least 200 words. I hope you have had fun today and got some ideas about how to celebrate Games Day with your friends and family, and that you will use them. And this is the end of today's lesson. Until some other time, bye-bye.